high tech will get pretty grumpy if the voltage gets too much lower. So, it may shut off on me. I'm going to see what all the fault codes are. Because this got it. Yeah. I put it at another IAC on it because it got broken during shipping when I first bought the kit and it's not liked it ever since oh well we'll clear it while we're running see what it does it wants the band relay because I already told it it's there I could get in there and change that but I'm good because it will have the bands. So there's my AFR for the driver's side, passenger side. My temp's like 194, she's just coming up to temp. Warmed up pretty dang quick for, uh, I mean, it's not even like maybe 10 minutes. And I'm only running one fan at the moment. I just got it hard on. So. I mean, it's honestly the longest I've ever ran this thing. Now that I've got an exhaust, so it can exhaust. Uh, not bad for a stage two, it's not bulky. It's got a little chop. That's the Texas uh, Texas Speed stage two.
Corey makes me one. Kind of confused on that air temp because it's right there on the side. Maybe it's just because it's heating up. Uh, that's definitely not the air temp it's drawn in. There's no way. Uh, cylinder heads are 168. That's actually kind of cool. So block is 208 or 203 because it's picking it off of the uh, thermostat housing. So let's see where it's at right now idling with the... Uh, yeah, so 204. I don't have a radiator cap on there yet. So as a tea kettle goes, yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, we're back with a bunch of faults. It's gonna be the stupid IAC again, probably. Or it'll be the fans. Not nah, just the fans. I, like I say, I turned those off if I got into the software on it. So because that's actually back in the paper in the software. But I'm gonna shut her down right now and then crawl under there and show the uh, show off. Um, well, not really show off, but just show the uh, show the exhaust that I, I made this afternoon just so I could operate it. So I, well, so I could run it like you see it and hear it. So. <clears throat> Getting kind of old. Mm. So here's the exhaust. So this is this is an L76 or a 60 or a six a 6.0 liter LS engine, but the nomenclature for it's an L76. So it would have had DOD, which is displacement on demand, and uh, VLOM, so the VLOM with the variable valve timing, um, all that's deleted and gone. So all it has is uh, the Texas uh, Speed Stage 2 cam in it with the lifters for that. But I don't know if you can see, uh, the exhaust is built um, and wrapped. Uh, Corey Avery muffler out of Sonora will make a full exhaust for this thing, including all this. This is just kind of temporary so we can get it around. And then Corey will basically remake it. But this is a stock exhaust system from, say, like a 2008 Suburban. Uh, yeah, there's a big old hole, big old hole. Um, it's a 4L65E up there that Robbie built here in the shop. Made it up to a stock JK Sport transfer case. Uh, using uh, an adapter. You can see that's from Novak. So, yeah. And it all fits in there nice and snug. I think the O2s are a little bit long, so we're going to find some more air. They're not O2s, they're air. Nothing's hitting. Got clearances. Yeah. That's the uh, oil pressure, secondary oil pressure sending unit. Another one up on the top of the engine. And then I'm using one right out of there. That's for the Dakota Digital right there. And the AC compressor up there, because yes, it does have AC. So. We got a tranny cooler up there. It's gotta be wired in. And these are the JK axles from underneath my 2017 Rubicon. They're all truss gusted. You can see three linked in the rear. So 
So here's a funny point. So this drive shaft is a stock length and stock from a 2005 Ford Excursion. Front drive shaft is stock length from a 95 Dodge 2500 or B250 or whatever they call it, D250, four wheel drive. So what that means is I can actually call Rock Auto or I can call anybody and tell them I want a stock length, like if I was to break one. So, and I did that because when I stretch the frame right here in the middle, three and seven sixteenths inches, it set my lengths and set everything so I didn't have to cut anything on the truck because I refuse to cut anything on the truck bed or cab. So, had to do some stretching. So, there we go. Semper Fi and my Marines watching. And these, this is the windshield washer. And this is the coolant overflow. These come from BJ's Off-Road. A lot of parts on here are from BJ's Off-Road. Oh my goodness, there's... I, I can't even think about how many parts are on here from them guys. So, lots of parts. Parts are parts, pieces are pieces. There's the glove box actually from them. I actually have a cardboard version of that also. So, Corbo seats, Corbo seat mounts. JK interior. So, retro sound radio. And so, under dash, redone AC system. That's it for now.